Alright, so we can line that up. We create a shark magnet out of two 40-pound yellowfin tunas that we rig up with cameras. I think she may have done this before. We'll capture feeding activity, get an up-close look at shark behavior, and see if there are any other species out there besides reef sharks. We have four cameras actually on our two fish. What we hope to see afterwards is the bait's perspective. OK, you want to flip it? We want to kind of get in the shark's mind and see what's going on there. I'd like to get some tags on those animals so we get an opportunity to learn how they use the reef and how they use the atoll. And we also are going to take note of gender, because we've seen a lot of females. We haven't seen a lot of males. You know, I, I really want to understand where the males are going. They might be here at night. They might be off the shelf. We're not really sure. This is the first time a frenzy cam has been deployed here. Because he'll be closer to the action. Our photographer Johnny suits up in chain mail. Shark sticks. Good place. Three, two, one, go. Load into the boat. Drop, 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 drop. Drop, drop, drop. 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 Whole thing goes down. No sharks visual topside. Over. No, they're all down here. Right now we have about a dozen sharks feeding pretty heavily on the first camp. Sharks just pour into that tuna. In total, we have about 15 different sharks. I see two pregnant females. No males. 